All right, so we got our tracks colored, yellow tracks are vocals, brown tracks are piano, blue tracks are guitar, red tracks are bass, green tracks are drums. I always do it like that so I always know exactly what I'm looking at in the arrange window. Right now what I'm doing is getting rid of the silence in between the sections on the vocals. I'm going to do that for all the tracks that it makes sense. That's because when you make them really slim, you want to be able to see where vocals actually exist and where they don't. You'll see that later. We already mix the drums, we mix the bass. Those two black tracks are submix tracks, submix drums, submix bass. Now we're to our vocals, they're gonna come on as soon as I solo it. Green bar at the top is our loop. I'm gonna drag that out so it gets more of the vocal in. Right here I'm adding the pitch corrector. I ended up taking it back off because I didn't like how it sounded. I'm going to drag it to the bottom so that it's uh, moving really quickly, which is how they do that auto-tune stuff. You can hear it sounds a lot more natural when you back up off the speed, but always it's so off tune that really what you want to do is you want to draw that in with something like Melodyne or the actual auto tune. It's not something to do with an automatic function like that. Not putting compressor on it, but the Logic compressor, the uh, version that ends in U is the one you want to use on your vocals. And your fast attack, fast release. Back up off the attack a little bit. Increase the ratio. That's the part that was really annoying me with the pitch correction where I actually ended up getting rid of both of those. I like the compressor however, so I'm going to copy that to the other track. You can see with the top and the bottom yellow tracks that the waveforms are approximately as high as each other, which means that the same compression should work the same on both of them. If they were different, you'd have to adjust the threshold. Checking the second line against the first line.
Right now I'm making my vocal double tracks and send them to a bus which is going to be a mono bus. I'm making two of them. I'm going to pan them far left and far right. I'm going to pitch shift both of them differently and I'm going to delay both of them differently. And I have my two return tracks. Pan far left, pan far right. It can be vocal double left and vocal double right. And send both of those to the buses. Vocal double left. Vocal double right. Call them purple to set them apart from my other tracks, including my submix tracks, which are black. My effects tracks are purple. My return tracks, whatever. Figuring how much to send to the double tracks. Fighting, we were too many a types here in this room. Hold back, y'all. Getting my pitch shifters out. Put the mix on 100%. And what we're going to do is we're going to fine tune it. We go negative 5 on the left side, and we go positive 5 on the right side. I'm going to drop this triangle on the bottom left, which gets our delay out. The delay on the left is 9. We move the second delay to 18. Let's see what we get. Fighting, we were too many a types here in this room. Hold back, y'all. The feelings that we always really feel. Fighting, we were too many a types here in this room. Hold back, y'all. The feelings that we always really feel. Fighting, we were too many a types here in this room. Hold back, and the same amount from the second vocal track. That we always like warriors, life was on the line. Come on, for it. Just the bass. Select the vocal tracks, I'm going to send them to their own submix bus. Sure the submix vocals. Color it black.
not the silence in the piano tracks. Gonna work on the piano bus. Again, this comes in handy when you have the tracks really slim. So you can see where you have content and where you don't have content on the individual tracks. I think the piano it sounds alright, but you know, it's mono, it's kind of like dry and blocked. So I'm gonna try to fix that up. First, we're gonna try to EQ it. Get rid of some unnecessary mud in the mid lows. Trying to add some air. I was looking for some bass content here. I didn't find any. Decided to check the analyzer. It's not really doing anything down there. I took that back out. Try to go for a peak. Bring that down. Go for the exciter, try to add some air. Now we gotta take this from mono to stereo. Got too much of an effect here. Let's bring this down. Test it with the other tracks. Take out some of the mud in the bass. It's blocking the pianos. <laughs> 